Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Welcome back to the channel and I have another jeans and boots video for you today. It's the Rustler Wrangler regular fit jeans. You can get these at Walmart for like 12 bucks. And some of you guys requested me do a video on them, so let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way all right, guys, today we're going to take a closer look at these really budget friendly jeans with eight different kinds of cowboy boots and eight different kinds of toe shapes. But before we get into that, we got to know the specs of this really cheap jean. So let's get into the rundown. These are Rustler Wrangler jeans. So they're not true Wrangler jeans, they're a spin off brand called Rustler. Uh, and it's a little bit more inexpensively made. It still has 100% cotton though. This is a regular fit with a straight leg. It also has a zip fly. It's made in Bangladesh and you can get them for $12 at a Walmart or at walmart.com. Today I'm gonna be trying out these wrestler jeans with a couple of Hondo boots. Who is today's sponsor for this video? Hondo boots are some of the best value traditionally made boots that you can get on the market today. They seriously haven't changed how they've made a boot since 1965 when they started. Hondo boots have channeled insoles the way that boots used to be made. They are just leather on leather so there's no cork in there at all. They have a hard leather insole. They're completely leather lined with bovine leather. None of that pig skin, you guys. They have tall tops and ropers. And if you guys are interested in learning more about Hondo Boots, you can check them out online at hondoboots.com. But they're a wholesaler, so you can only get their boots through retailers. Lucky for you, I have a promo code where you can get Hondos for 10% off through cartersboots.com. So if you guys are in the market for a traditionally made boot, definitely consider a Hondo, and huge thanks to them for always supporting this channel. Now it's time to try on these Rustler jeans with eight different kinds of cowboy boots. All right, we're gonna kick this off with a pair of Roper boots. This is the Ariat Heritage Roper with a Roper round toe and about a one and a quarter inch Stockman heel. It's also only 10 inches tall, which goes along with the Roper traits. Just so you guys know, I'm six foot one without boots and around 170 pounds. The first thing I noticed about these jeans is that they're a bit short when compared to other 32, 34s that I have. Also, I couldn't stack these since 34 was the longest available size at Walmart. All right, we're moving things along here to the U-Toe. This is the Hondo 7875. It also has a one and a half inch stack leather heel and it comes up 13 inches tall. This is my go-to Western work boot with a rubber sole. Love wearing this and I wear it frequently. Let's talk about the denim this time. It feels pretty rough and scratchy. It is a heavier weight, and it's much different than the higher end Wrangler 13 MWZs that are also 100% cotton. After a few washes, I'm sure this jean will soften up a little though. All right, let's move things over to the medium round. This is the Arto, the Dan Post Milwaukee. This also has a really wide top, probably the widest that I have uh, also compared to the Ariat Roper, but this Jean does a good job at covering up how wide the top is of both this boot, this Dan Post, and the Ariat Roper as well. All right, let's get a little bit more pointed round with the J-Toe. This is a pair of BNV boots with a one and five eighths inch stacked leather heel and it comes up 13 inches tall. This is also more of a narrow top, so it works with a lot of different jeans. Let's talk about the boxy cut and fit of these jeans. It's just real boxy around the thighs and everywhere else for that matter, which will help a lot more folks fit into this jean, but don't expect to get that famous Wrangler butt from these rustlers. Country singer Aaron Watson knows what I'm talking about. Let's try it out with a more fancy pair of boots. This is a snip toe. It's a Yeehaw Cowboy Cayman tail black cherry boot. 
And let's talk about that cut a little bit more. Due to the cut and fit, some of you taller guys like myself might find these jeans riding up a little bit for that high water effect when you sit down. Uh, you can kind of notice how high up they come when I sort of bring my knees up like that. Let's keep things going here with the narrow square toe. This is the Ariat Ultra Ventec boot. It has about a two inch heel and comes up about 11 inches tall. At this point, I can see that these jeans look fine with all of the boots and they will probably be best as a pair of cheap work jeans. It's tough for me to criticize this too much or have too high expectations for it since they're only $12. All right, let's go to another fancy pair of boots. This is a French toe, a Boulet 8502 Cayman belly with about a one and a half inch stack leather heel and it comes up about 12 inches tall. It's tough for me, like I said, to criticize a jean like this because the price is so low. I will say that I like them better than the George Bootcut jeans also available from Walmart for a very cheap price. The fabric feels much more durable on these rustlers, even though these are a bit shorter. I'd feel safer working all day in these than those George jeans. Finally, here we have the wide square toe with a double stitched welt. This is the Hondo 3416. It also comes up about 14 inches tall. It's got about a two inch stacked leather heel and it's also got a spur shelf there. That spur shelf isn't doing anything for these jeans though since they are a little bit short. I still think it looks pretty good and overall I think I like this jean best with the square toes and the wider round toe boots. Overall, my final thoughts for these Rustler jeans by Wrangler is what do you want for $12? I mean, honestly, the denim is pretty rough and scratchy. Nothing like a brand new pair of Wrangler 13MWZ jeans. And they're also just a little bit short, uh, much shorter than other 3234s that I've tried in the past. So some of you tall guys out there might have a little bit of trouble with this. Uh, and a 34 length was the longest that I could find at the Walmart that I went to and I didn't really see any 36 options online. So they might ride up a little bit high when you sit down depending on the size that you need. The Rustler jean is also a pretty boxy fit which is probably a good thing so that more folks can take advantage of that $12 price tag and fit into these jeans. The only downside to that is, is that they're not made for any one specific person unless you're built like a rectangle. And in that case, wow, you better get a bunch of these $12 jeans. <laughs> Even though the denim doesn't feel the best, I do like the thickness of it. I couldn't find any ounce weight measurements, but it feels much more heavyweight and much more durable than the George jeans that I've tried previously. Would feel much more comfortable working all day in a pair of Rustler Wrangler jeans than a pair of George bootcut jeans. Both of them are available at Walmart for nearly the same price. Personally, I'd still rather take my $12 to a thrift store and buy a better built, better looking pair of Wrangler 13 MWZs, even though that they've been possibly used before, but that's just me. What do you guys think of the Rustler jeans by Wrangler available at Walmart for $12? Let me know down in the comments. If this is your first time seeing me, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys around. Peace. Rustle up some Wranglers with $12 in your wallet. Throw them on and you'll be gone. Fill it up and haul it. Yeah. Thanks for watching today. Why don't you check out this other video up here about George Bootcut Jeans. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.